Black Valley is a, is a wetland that is, uh, I guess, northeast of St Arnold. It's open, um, carracks and sedge dominated wetland. It would have in the past had a lot more uh, trees through it, kakatea, bog pine, mountain cedar, that type of thing. Um, lots of manuka, kanuka around the edges um, transitioning into beech forest. Certainly it's, it's very open at the moment and has a lot of exotic um, grasses in the drier areas. Since about the late 1800s, uh, there were attempts to farm it and, and to drain it. So there's quite a few drains, about eight kilometres of drains in the wetland. And the last lot of work was done in the 1980s, was subsidised uh, for the purpose of creating more productive farmland. And that was a time where we didn't really understand the impact of removing wetlands. People thought that uh, well, the best science, the best practice of the day was to to turn those into productive farmland and we, we just didn't realise the consequences of that. There was some work done by Doc and John Priest, who's a, a wetland ecologist and it identified that restoring the water table or trying to re-wet the wetland was one of the most important things for its, uh, for its restoration, for its ecology. So the plan was to um, continue the work that Doc had started. They did a lot of drain plugging. So rather than fill the drain back in, we just put plugs in because uh, it's quicker and, and less impact. And we started talking to Iwi about how we could do it. And the feedback was very much that low impact is, is really important. And so we came up with the idea of using the helicopter to fly bags of soil in kind of a monsoon bucket type scenario where you'd, you'd pick up the soil and fly it and cut the bags open and drop it into the drains to form plugs. And that way we wouldn't have to take a digger out into the wetland and potentially get it stuck. The project was started initially uh, as a partnership with iwi and different iwi have uh, different capacity to, to support the mahi in different areas. For us, that was just a great opportunity to work with iwi to try and support some of their cultural aspirations. So it's a privilege for me to be standing here uh, with the new science um, of the new and, and I guess for us uh, uh, from, from the past. And uh, yes, I'm really looking forward to what's, what's going to happen here. Oh, uh, kia ora. My name is Stuart Kerry. I'm uh, born and bred in Motueka. Um, nice to be here. Uh, Noreda, te nakuto, te nakuto, te tata kato. We thought that instead of using these plastic bags to fly soil into the wetland, what about if we could do something with harakiki? And the idea was born. To, to use the harakiki baskets to, uh, to try and reduce, A, reduce the amount of plastic we use, but also <clears throat> if we can use the harakiki in, a, in an engineering sense where you use geotextile bags or geotextile fabric, perhaps we could use harakiki and reduce the amount of soil that we need to fly with the helicopter. And so now was able to, I guess, take the ball and run with it with the kairaranga and set up the wānanga that happened at Rotoiti. Yeah, so this, this wānanga was just about getting our tatoihu weavers together. So it was awesome to see the support of our um, whānau and especially our weavers um, in this space. A couple of the options that whānau came up with was Waikawa baskets, which um, this one in front of me is sort of a bigger version of. Um, we've also got a sort of kite with a fitty style basket woven quite high. Um, the whāraki mat in terms of what might be able to hold and carry the soil we need. I, I'm definitely um, quietly confident that one of the options will work. It's about innovation. One of the things I was very conscious of when we 
we're engaging with iwi on this is that um, our weavers needed to be at the forefront because they are the ones that have the mātauranga and, the, and will be able to come up with the solutions. The benefits are huge, just the mental health, the physicalness, um, you learn so much and like, you know, with all those weavers yesterday, we had such laughs. We actually yeah. are very creative and, you know, Artify, with her knowledge of civil, you know, just the, yeah. being able just to work out... other people... Yeah, being able to work out the cubic metre... bring to the table. ...the yeah. weight, what a basket will hold. So this was actually done, started yesterday, and it took about four to five hours, um, all, yeah, with the help of the others around us as well. So I started it, and some ladies then came in behind and finished uh, doing the finishing touches on the edges. So the Modi stone was a concept that came out of the, the Kairaranga Wananga. The weavers also encouraged other artists and uh, I believe Natalie, who we've worked with through other parts of the project, uh, came along and, and she had the idea of bringing a, a touchstone, a Modi stone, um, to the site to contribute to that cultural understanding of those that are working on it, as well as their cultural safety. I have hunted up um, in the Red Hills, which is near to the whenua that um, we're hoping to restore. So I would, I think it's relevant to use a, a stone from there that I've found that is still within its environment, but placed somewhere where it, it's needed right now. You know, I've never been a part of a project where I've actually created a touchstone to be in something like this. It's nice to be a part of putting a, a Modi stone that I've, you know, sanded back and polished up to go into this whenua. Like, it's, it's a nice feeling that something I love is going into the environment. I think it was a really nice touch to be able to, to start the project or start the work on the ground um, with the, the process of laying that motor stone. The words that I've just said, it's about um, recognising caring thoughts. It's about sharing those caring thoughts and kahuri uh, kohoki mai, which goes around and comes back. So the, the helicopter was coming from Murchison and it's about half an hour or so's flight and when we knew the helicopter was going that way we, we reached out um, to the Komatua and said would you like the opportunity to, to get on the helicopter because it's going that way anyway and it didn't take too much convincing.
um, you couldn't ask for, for a better team. And the, the crew that we had on the ground was, was ideal. There are some learnings that we'll get out of it. Some of them work better than others. Um, the filling of the bags was really good and the, the crew that we had on the ground was, was ideal. About there. Yeah. So this is a bit like uh, weaving Matauranga with Lego Masters, building a wall. We can support not only Matauranga but reconnection of Fano with cultural practices, and at the same time, maybe reduce the amount of helicopter trips we have to do in future by using these bags and given, or baskets sorry, given that they won't last forever but the idea is it'll go last long enough for the plants to establish and stabilise the plug. So my involvement is a part of a group of kairaranga um, in Te Tui, who one of the best ideas that we came up with was the Waikawa style. So we decided to use this style for this project as well because of the strength in the bottom of it um, to hold all that the amount of dirt and the best thing about it is not having to prep the harakeke. It's an important project because Wetlands are really, really critical as sponges or kidneys and they not only clean the water but they hold on to it. And we know that downstream in places like Westport there are flooding issues and while this site alone isn't going to fix that, it's part of the wider change, the wider learning and understanding that we're going through as New Zealanders that these places are actually really important and the way they function is really important. I'd really like to take the opportunity to thank uh, Ngā Iwi o Tita Ihu, uh, in particular um, the Kurahopo Iwi that have supported the, the project at, at this site. We really hope that this will be a template for other sites, for other councils, for other iwi that want to, uh, to work together with, with ecologists and scientists and, and project managers to try and uh, have a, a lower footprint, bigger output uh, solution. Mm.